So my little cousin is six years old. At this age, she is still afraid of the dark, scared of what lurks in the shadows. One day, she asked me if I still believe in monsters. I smiled. I then grabbed the truth by its collar. I wrestled it to the ground. I tucked it deep underneath my arm, and I said, love, you know monsters aren't real. And at times like this, I wish that my sentences came with receipts so I could take back my words. I wasn't being completely honest. You see, when I spoke to her, I damn near choked on a secret that has been stapled to the inside of my throat for longer than I can remember. Not only do I believe in monsters, but I've seen them whisper themselves into existence. I heard they carve nightmares on the eyelids of the innocent and then linger in dark corners, preying on the unsuspecting. Somehow, they figured out how to crawl through eight millimeter film and walk backwards straight into the dreams of those who have never, ever, ever been afraid to sleep. I believe in monsters the same way I believe in oxygen, so tell me, Howard, how big is your closet? How much space is really underneath the beds that you shake in the middle of the night? You are a vampire, a werewolf in sheep's clothing. You swallow halos and then spit out nooses. How can I not believe in monsters when I see men like you walking with your knuckles scraping against the concrete? You stand perched on the screams of assaulted women and then squeeze yourself into costumes that fool the public into thinking that you are human. How dare you have the audacity to impersonate me? How dare you believe that there isn't a woman out there scrubbing the inside of her thighs until they turn stop sign red trying to erase your fingerprints from her skin. How dare you believe that there isn't a woman out there trying to scrub the inside of her thighs trying to erase your fingerprints from her skin. How dare you believe that your blood is just as blue as mine. When you speak, I can smell hell's inferno on your breath. And I spent the last five years of my life trying to, I spent the last five years of my life trying to carve galaxies in the back of my throat just to make sure that your world can fit into my mouth. But honestly, honestly, I can't stand the taste of your behavior. Every time you cross my path, I get the sudden urge to tie you to a chair, cover you in gasoline, and set your body on fire. Granite, I am no Van Helsing, but I've seen enough horror movies to know how to get rid of motherfuckers like you. But what hurts me the most is that I know, even if I killed you, there are still millions of monsters walking this earth pretending to be men. <laughs>